doing okay? You know it. Didn't even break a sweat. Nice. Nick's got a couple of friends he's gonna take to the pipes. You gonna let them through? Hmm. Fine. As long as they don't cause any trouble. You better do as she says. Head on down. We'll secure the area. Hey, Jackson! Let him through! Through the hall. Hope you don't mind getting wet. <laughs> any of these people, and I've never heard of this Mason before. <sighs> Let's just see what happens, I guess. Here ain't gonna fly around here, friend. This is our place. All of it. We got to deal with Malone. Malone's out of the picture, and so is that deal. There's a new order in 114. All the tunnels around here belong to us. We should be grateful for letting you keep this shithole. Sure, you talk big, but we know y'all ain't got the crew to take us. He ain't that crazy. <laughs> We're recruiting, so you better watch yourself. From now on, anybody in our territory is considered fair game. Up to you if you want to turn this into a war. Right back at you then. We can smoke you right now just for being here. <laughs> you want to kill everyone you're supposed to be looking after, you go right on ahead. Come on, let's get out of here. We said what we need to. Yeah, go on, get out of here. Get out of my way. Hey, Mason? Yeah, what's going on? Larson says we've got some visitors. Nick Valentine. Why the hell did Larson let you down here? He says Frankie made his move. Nick and his friend got rid of him. Really? And I'm guessing you're the same friend that got Nick out of Park Street, right? Is there a problem? You could say that. Uh, look, you know we love you, Nick, but you need to know things ain't been good down here since you went down by that vault. You know who's running Park Street now? Hey, Nick, you heard what I said? You all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You kind of blanked out there for a second. Did I? Hmm. Detection system must be on the fritz. What'd they miss? I said, do you know who's running Park Street now? Go on. Luca Petrelli. Oh. Damn right, oh. We could get things straight with Malone, but Petrelli, he want all these tunnels to himself. All the scaven, all the routes around the city, everything. And if he's building up his crew, I don't know. Maybe he'll make a play for the sluice as well. Either way, Petrelli's goons told us everything that went down at Park Street. And it sounds like they got you to thank for being on top now. Now that's not- Yeah it is, Nick. Yeah it is. Sometime, you just gotta leave shit alone. You don't gotta help everybody who asks. You need to be more like them detectives in the comic books. Get your ass drunk all the time and don't do nothing. Especially if they got something wrong with you. Not an option. And ain't that just the problem? Always taking on the next case. That why you're here then? So what is it? Who missing this time? A man named Riley. Riley Jones. He's a mechanic from Diamond City. Do you know him? The only Riley I know isn't a man and isn't from Diamond City. Lawson and McCoy check everybody coming in upstairs. If they don't know him, he hasn't been here. Why would that guard lie to us? Unless maybe he was using a different name? Huh. Um, he's about 40. White. 
brown hair, uh... Doesn't exactly narrow it down, sister. What's his story, anyway? His brother was killed recently. His... well, his mom wants to know if he's safe. Another day in the wasteland, huh? <sighs> Alright. You wanna ask around? Go ahead. Don't like the idea of somebody putting on a fake name around here, though. Most folks here haven't been to Diamond City in years. A lot of them ain't never been. So if this guy's a plain ass, keep himself to himself type, we wouldn't know. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of this. Now I'm hoping you will. You got any other questions? Who are you people, exactly? Just people. Some from good neighbors, some from smaller settlements. Some living in the tunnels their whole lives. Why would you choose to live in a place like this? Saving and being up there. With all the gunners and raiders and shit. Or at least it was until we had Frankie trying to bust in upstairs and Petrelli leaning on us down here. But I guess we've been through all that already. Who is this guy? Petrelli? He's trouble. Been running gangs for decades. Used to operate out a good neighbor until Hancock took over. Nobody knew where he went. Some people thought he was dead. But I guess not. After you and Nick did your thing at Park Street, looks like he moved in. Guy's unhinged, if you believe the rumors. Kills his own men if they look at him funny. Obsessed with building his empire back up. Doesn't care who he buries to do it. And now he's on our doorstep. So thanks for that. Is there anything I can do to help out? <laughs> well, I guess you got some experience busting into the vault and taking down the whole gang, huh? Trouble is, Petrelli's got the whole place on lockdown. Looks like they don't move about up ground. Everything's in the pipes now. Getting into 114 ain't gonna be easy no more. Unless they let you in. Anyway, who knows what you do to make things worse? Nah, y'all just stick to y'all case. We got this. I don't have any more questions. Okay, then. Hey, Mason. Looks like those guys are gone. We're gonna go fix up those turrets now. Right. Okay, then, Nick. Do what you gotta do. Just don't cause any more problems while I'm out. Wait. You said most people here hadn't been to Diamond City, but there used to be a lot of people who lived there, right? Where's Lloyd and Ashley and Marlo and those people? Been a while since you come down here. They ain't around no more. All right, let's move out. Wait. Uh. Seems charms at a premium down here. You better get to know the major players here in town. Must be a clue around here somewhere. I know Fred, the guy up there who vouched for us just now. Mind if we talk to him first? I want to know why a bunch of people aren't here anymore. Sure. By the way, while you were talking to that guy, I wrote up a quick description of Riley that we can show people. Should make things easier. Hey. I'm all ears. Hey, Valentine. You need something? Are you okay? I told you, I'm fine. Never mind. Yes? Yes? Okay, let's get these turrets up and running. We'll let Faisal and Michelle argue about where they go. Got it. And let me know if you got any problems with the gears on that one. We've still got a few more we can swap out. Sure. Hey. Hey there. Uh, thanks for taking care of those goons. Larson was sure they were gonna try to shoot their way in here any day now. Don't know if they would have succeeded, but luckily we don't have to find out. Do you get a lot of attacks like this? No, not really. Not above ground anyway. Most people don't see past an old abandoned store. Or if they do, they can't get past the reinforced door. The rest get a face full of these things when they come through. And we've got more of them down here to stop whatever's lurking in the sewers. Which, I guess, includes Luca Petrelli's men now. At least you're safe for now. 
Great land. I thought that was you. Been a long time. How's life on the road? Good. I ended up staying in Milton. Found a new teacher. Speaking of which, what happened to Ashley? And Lloyd? That guy, Mason, he said they weren't here anymore? Um... Uh, been a few changes since you were here last. Marlo and a whole bunch of folks from Diamond City decided they didn't want to live in the sewers anymore. Ended up heading down to Quincy. And that was only a few months before, uh, you know, everything that went on down there, so... Oh, God. Yeah. Not many Diamond City folks left here. Mary, Ben, a few others. Larson and Michelle and some others are from one of the farms before the Minutemen fell apart. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go on. Yeah. And, and then there's some people from Good Neighbor, uh, some from as far up as Salem, and then uh, Mason's from D.C., uh, y you know, the capital wasteland. What about you? Me? Well... <laughs> I'm pretty much from right down here. Found shelter in the tunnels after the bombs dropped. Just like uh, Ponzi over there. Hey. There's always been a few settlements here and there in the sewers and the subway tunnels over the years, but none of them ever lasted very long. Always had to be ready to pack up and go at any moment. Luckily, it's easy to stay hidden in miles of tunnels when the bandits come calling. Or worse. But it was only when the folks from Diamond City and Good Neighbor got pushed here that we actually made something to last. And here we are. So, what do you think of it? It looks like you've done well for yourselves. Thank you. After the last 200 years, I'd say it's something to be proud of. At least it doesn't smell too bad down here anymore. Or so I'm told. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you to the sluice? I'm looking for someone. Hmm. Don't know anyone named Riley. We're usually open to traders, apart from the last couple of days. <laughs> Description sounds like a couple of people I've seen come and go, but I can't really say for sure. If he was trading, try asking Griffiths and McMurray. Uh, they trade general goods by the big pipe. Either side of the water, just try not to get caught up in one of their fights. <laughs> Other than that, there's uh, the bar across the way, and the cam and uh, equipment stores either side. Or, uh, Mary in the clinic, just below it. I know Larson and McCoy keep records of things going on up top, so you might find something there as well. I'm afraid that's all I've got. Thank you. That is helpful. Sure thing. Well, I'd better get back to it. Good luck. Yes? Yeah? Hey, anything I can do? <clears throat> Everything okay? Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Guess you picked up on that when we were talking to Fred. Uh, my dad was a minute man, but he's gone now. And this was long before Quincy, so. What happened? I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just focus on the case. Thanks. Nothing else. I'm telling you, there's no way this ends well. <laughs> Would you relax, Howie? What's he gonna yeah. do? Yeah. It ain't like he's gonna attack us. He doesn't have to attack us, he just has to choke yeah. us out. If we can't go anywhere, we can't access anything, we're done. Oh, come on. No way in hell he's got the men to watch all the tunnels. Didn't you hear him? They're recruiting. And just who the hell is he gonna recruit? I don't know. But it doesn't sound good. Well, look who it is. There's a whole bunch of folks here who want to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You've got some nerve. 
Luca Petrelli doesn't send a message like that unless he means it. We're gonna end up fucked because of you. Oh, come on. As if they'd have known. And I remember you whooping and hollering along with everybody else when you heard what happened to Malone. Yeah, and I was saying we should have gone straight into the vault and taken it ourselves. You know how fast Petrelli got in. He'd have killed anyone in there. Exactly. But we can defend this place. He gotta be crazy to try something here. He is crazy. That's the problem. And Howard's right. Petrelli's not the kind to just sit around now that he's back in the game. He's gonna want everything. Everywhere we scavenge every access point to Diamond City and Bunker Hill. Everything we need to survive. That's right. You get rid of one problem, all you're gonna get is something worse. You really gonna put that on her? Let me ask you something. You know who Luca Petrelli is? Ever heard of him before you got here? No, never heard of him. Well, there you go. That doesn't absolve them of any responsibility. Anyway, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about Nick. Mesa was right just now, sticking your nose into everything. Don't you have an off switch or something? You talk that way to everyone who lends you a hand? Yeah, you didn't hear Fred just now, did ya? They got rid of Frankie. Yeah? Why was he out there in the first place? Exactly. I don't even know why Larson let them down here. They shouldn't be here. Hell yeah. Let's kick him out. Jonah, sit down before you hurt yourself. No, he's got a point. Let's kick them out. Oh, yeah. screw Get you, out of here, Howard. Nick. You'd Not still be happen. pissing yourself down here wondering when those guys were gonna move on us. And you'd be <laughs> happy to get us kick all out. Shut the hell up, Jonah. All right, that's enough. I say we put it to a vote. Sound fair? Everyone who thinks Nick and his friends should stay, say aye. 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 Well, that sounds like most of you to me. Looks like you folks are staying. Now you boys set your piece, okay? You want to carry on, you take it outside. This is a mistake. We're all gonna get fucked. One way or another. Sorry about that. Been a lot of talk about you and Nick the last few days. But I'm betting you've already been through all of that with Larson. Anyway, welcome to the sluice. Thanks for the warm welcome. Eh, just count yourself lucky that the vote went your way. So, what can I do for you then? I'm looking for someone. Hmm, don't know anyone named Riley. How about you guys? Know anyone called Riley? 40s, brown hair? No. Nope. Where is he from? Diamond City. <laughs> well, obviously I haven't been there in years. That's gonna be true for a lot of us. Can't say I remember anyone called Riley. It was a busy place back then. Too many people to know everyone by name. And you get folks coming through, never giving their name anyways. At least not down here. Up top, McCoy checks everyone coming in. But I'm guessing you asked him already. Hmm. Makes me wonder what name this Riley gave them then. Yeah, me too. Anything else? Says his brother was shot. So, what's the story? His brother, Kyle, was about to kill him because he thought he was a synth. Guards shot him before he had a chance. Jesus Christ. You know, I think one of the caravan guards said something about someone turning on his brother in Diamond City. That was a while ago, though. Don't think he mentioned any names or nothing. So, is he? Huh? A synth. I... I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not surprised. There's something about that city that gets people turning on their neighbors. No more ghouls to point your fingers at, so now you just think everyone's a synth. That's completely different. Synths are actually a threat. You never know when one of them's going to snap and come after you. That's exactly what they said about us. <laughs> Anything else? Stacy was trading. Copper, vacuum tubes, and a Geiger counter. Huh. The hell's he gonna do with all that? Scabbing, maybe? Check the radiation in the tunnels as you go. By himself? Sorry, Nick. If he's gone and done that, you ain't gonna find him. Either way, if he was trading, you can try asking at the stalls. 
Sounds like with Murray and Griffiths might be your best shot. <laughs> Just know, they're having another one of their fights over there. About what? Smashing up the other's robot or stealing it or whatever. I don't know. It's always something. Well, guess that's all we know. Anything else? That's all for now. Well, later then. Yeah? Yes. Yes? <clears throat> so, a fresh face. What brings you to our beautiful town then? I'm looking for someone. Oh, I. Uh, no, I, I don't know anybody named Riley. Trader, huh? Ah, there's a few guys I've sold to that look like your man. Trouble is, all my records were kept on my bot, which, as you can see, is Fubar. Fucked up beyond all repair. I wonder who did that then, eh? Buggering up the lieutenant. Hey! I know you're the one who nicked Penelope! Give her back! I've no idea what you're talking about, mate. Anyway, you're not supposed to be shagging robots. <laughs> it's no good for you. I never... Oh, I'm gonna find out what you did to her, Ian. Mark my words! What's that? <laughs> I can't hear you over all that oil in your lips. Ah! <laughs> what a dafty. What was all that about? Uh, that fanny thinks I stole his precious robot. You ask me, it ran away because he kept trying to put a finger in its oil cavity. Either way, he's done mine in now. What a shite. Of course, I don't have any proof, so Mason's no willing to get off his arse and do something about it. I don't suppose you could take a look at the old fella. Maybe he can help you lot find this bloke you're after. How is a robot gonna help us? Like I said, he's got a record of all my customers. If there was someone looking like the boy you're buying the stuff off of, you'll know. I don't suppose you're a whiz at fixing robots by any chance. I don't know a thing about robot repair. Well, who's worth a shot? So, you trading then or what? Tell me more about this town of yours. Well, let me put it this way. Everybody wants a roof over their heads, right? Well, we've got the biggest fucking roof in the Commonwealth. The walls could be further apart, sure, but... Can I complain about the roof? Anyway, you looking to trade or what? So, what's your story? Oh, you know, flew here 200 years ago for a wedding. All the flights get cancelled, and then the wedding did. Found shelter in the subway tunnels. I ended up in this beautiful town with this beautiful stall. Speaking of, are you gonna buy something or what? Never mind. Suit yourself then. Just to be clear, I have never slept with my robot. Ever. All right? What's it like? What, are you deaf? I said I've never done it. I mean, how the fuck would I even... Ugh. Forget it. What do you want? Unless you reckon you can help me with that thieving twat over there. What are you two arguing about anyway? He nicked my fucking robot, didn't he? Thinks I broke his and now he's gone and kidnapped mine. I never even touched the bloody thing. He just never bothered taking care of it. Do you have any proof? Well, no. But he's good at covering his tracks, isn't he? I already asked around. No one saw him do it. And he isn't gonna talk, is he? Don't suppose you'd be willing to look for Penny? Let's caption it for you. Actually, I'm looking for someone. Hmm. I don't know, Riley. I do remember someone asking about a Geiger camera, though. Brown hair, could be about 40. That was ages ago, mind you. Can't remember what his name was. 
If Penelope were here, she'd be able to help. She's got a record of everyone I've traded with. So, what do you reckon? You up for finding her? Could be a win-win situation here. This better not be a waste of my time. I mean, I can't say for sure that she knows this fella. I'm just saying she might. But there's caps in it either way. Maybe later. <sighs> yeah, I get it. It's just a robot. Whatever. some kind of paralytic toxin. It's going to be impossible to isolate anything from this sample. Do we have any psycho? I think so. Why? If I can't work out what this is, then that's the only choice we've got. But psycho on someone in his state? I know. Hey. Sorry, I'm far too busy to talk right now. I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. I just need to know if you can help me. Who are you looking for? Here. Hmm. No, sorry, I don't know him. Although, Dr. Carlisle is from Diamond City. Do you know someone called Riley Jones? Nope, haven't been there in years. Sorry. You can try asking some of the other people from Diamond City. Janice is usually at the bar. Amanda will be around somewhere. Ben's from Diamond City as well, but he's not really in any shape to talk. Neither is Tom. That's an understatement. What happened to them? We don't know exactly. They went scavenging in the sewers a few hours ago. Tom, that's the ghoul, came back dragging Ben behind him. Then he passed out as well. We haven't been able to wake them up. We think it might be some kind of toxin. Is that right? As far as I can tell. They've both been affected, but Tom seems to be faring better. He should wake up soon once his system gets rid of the toxin. But I can't say the same about Ben. Eventually, his diaphragm will be paralyzed, and then there will be nothing more we can do. Which is why I'm trying to work out what the hell this thing is, which is why I'd appreciate it if you take your questions elsewhere. How exactly did this happen? What did I just say? We were thinking it might be a type of mire lurk or something. They must have been scavenging really deep. But until Tom wakes up and tells us where they were, we don't really know. Anything I can do to help? You can stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Eventually, his diaphragm will be paralyzed, and then there'll be nothing more we can do. Which is why I'm trying to work out what the hell this thing is, which is why I'd appreciate it if you take your questions elsewhere. Hmm. Curie, if I may be of assistance, you have but to ask. You're a physician? But of course. Really? And here I thought you were just a detective. All right, fine. Take a look and tell me what you think. I would be delighted to. Oh, I see. Well? A moment, please. I really hope she knows what she's doing. There is a proper procedure to do this thing. Here, for you. My goodness. I never would have thought of that. Some fresh eyes is exactly what we needed. Hopefully this will work. Let's try Ben first. We'll know pretty soon whether this worked or not. Come on, Ben. Nothing's happening. 
give it time. Damn it. Are you sure you didn't miss? Oh. <coughs> ah, look! It's working! Oh, thank God. What happened? Where am I? You're in the clinic. It's me, Mary. How do you feel? My head's killing me. Everything feels... heavy. What happened? You were infected with a toxin that knocked you out. What do you remember? I don't know. We were in the tunnels and... Wait... Is Tom okay? He should be fine. Tina, could you give him the shot? Sure. Tom was able to drag you back to the sluice before he passed out as well. I think he would have pulled through in the end, unlike you. Luckily, this detective's friend here was able to create an antidote to the toxin. You should be fine now, but I want you to stay here a while. Sure. Thank you. Both of you. The toxin was a lot slower going through Tom's body, and the same is going to be true for the antidote. It'll take a bit longer, but he should wake up soon. Thank God. Do you know what did this? What do you remember? I'm not sure. It was some kind of... creature. It was big. I, I didn't see it properly. Ugh, my head... It feels really weird. It's alright, get some rest. I'll come check on you later. Honestly, it's just good to see you back with us. And to think I have help with this. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. Really glad you walked through that door. I am even late. Okay, Tina. Giddy. Let's get back to work. I came to right. the surface to further science and to make a positive impact on people's lives. Together, you and me, I feel we could make a positive difference in the world. You have given me a tremendous gift. I will never forget you. Humanity is so resilient to cling to life despite all of this. It is the duty of us all to further that survival. Yeah? I'm not sure Ben would have made it without your friend. Curie, was it? She certainly seems dedicated to helping people. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. Well, we definitely need more people like her around. So, what can I do for you? How's he doing? If you mean Ben, he should be fine. I'm sure he's gonna feel drowsy for a little while, but you should be able to talk to him. The shot's gonna take a little longer to work on Tom, but he'll be up eventually. Certainly want to see if he knows what did this. How did you end up in this place? <laughs> Wasn't expecting you to ask that. Tina told you I was from Diamond City, right? Well, let's just say the great green jewel lost its shine when I realized the walls were keeping the undesirables in as much as out. You're supposed to treat everyone who needs help regardless, but I don't have a problem drawing the line at bigots. Almost everything I know came from a doctor who practiced at one of the local hospitals before the war. But having smooth skin is far more important than medical knowledge, isn't it? Kicked out of Diamond City along with the rest. Didn't make it in good neighbor. And that's that. 230 years of expertise. Gone. What type of doctor are you? Whatever type I can be. Though, with scavenging being the way of life down here, treating radiation and other occupational hazards has become a bit of a specialty. Thankfully, Tina's been a big help. By the way, if you're looking to buy any supplies, she's the one you need to speak to. That's all for now. Okay, then. Hey. Hey. Say thanks to your friend again. Don't think I've seen you two here before. Glad Larson's letting people in again. How are you feeling? Got a really bad headache. 
feeling kind of sore all over. Honestly, I've been better. But at least I'm still kicking. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. Go ahead. What happened to you guys? I don't know. We were scaving in the tunnels like we always do. But we'd gone further than we had before. Felt like we were getting close to the sea. And then there was something, I don't know, big. I didn't really get a good look at it. I mean, you always gotta watch for mirelurks and ferals. That's part of the risk. But I'd never seen anything like this before. Next thing I know, I'm here. Maybe Tom remembers. Hope the doc's right about him waking up. Do you have a Geiger counter? A Geiger counter? Uh, no, no I don't. Maybe try one of the traders. Here. What do you know about him? Riley? Yeah, I know him. From Diamond City. The doc said you were a detective, right? What's going on? His brother died recently, and no one in Diamond City has seen him since. A friend of mine used to look after him when he was younger. She just wants to know where he is. Yeah, I know about what happened to Kyle. I saw Riley here two or three times just before that. But I haven't seen him since either. Uh, look, I'm telling you this because I'm worried about him. He was acting really weird. Told me he was hiding from the Institute, and he was part of a group trying to bring them down. Said he had a code name and everything, so I shouldn't call him by his real name around other people. Sounded like he was in the railroad, but he never gave me a straight answer. But he said he was in trouble, so I did like he said. You mean the people who help free synths? Yeah. Uh... Look, I don't mean to be rude, and you know Riley better than I do, but he never seemed like he could... I mean, he always seemed like... A loser? Uh, <laughs> I... Yeah, I know. But he always talked about wanting to stick it to the Institute, so... I don't know. At least that's something. So, what's the code name? Virgil. Honestly... I don't know how long he thought he could keep that up. Sure, there aren't too many people from Diamond City here anymore, and he's always kept himself to himself, but someone else was bound to recognize him sooner or later. So that's it. I heard about Kyle, and I haven't seen Riley since. Doesn't mean he wasn't here. He never stayed too long, and I'm usually in the tunnels anyway. Thank you. That is helpful. Okay, I guess we need to see if anyone's seen Virgil. <laughs>